Long story, I know, I haven't been here for a few months. I really didn't feel like it with everything going on in the world, but I'm back. And today I'm going on an investigation for you guys. I have no idea how a French person starts off the morning. So I want to investigate what a Frenchman does. Let's go! The people come here in the morning at around 6.30. They take some bread for during the day and they have viennoiserie, croissant or pain au chocolat. And here they have a little shop. It's called an épicerie. Often the bakeries also have that uh, because it's handy if people forget groceries. It's a little more expensive, but they have all the essentials. This beautiful place is a restaurant and a bar all in one. We have that a lot in France. And I just love the interior, don't you? In uh, France, they have the typical French coffee, uh, which is also known as espresso. So if you take a French coffee, don't think you'll get a big one, you'll get a very small one. They have all sorts of coffee, but the regular ones that all the French people take is the normal coffee uh, espresso. The most common coffees besides the regular coffee are the double and allongé. And the difference between double and allongé, if you don't like strong coffee, you better take an allongé because they only add some water. And a uh, double is that you have um, an espresso twice. Yeah, they are from half six they are open, ochtends. Omdat mensen voordat ze uh, naar het werk gaan, komen ze hier uh, koffie nemen. En dan hebben ze of daarvoor al ontbeten of uh, ze ontbijten hier. daarna. Nee, hier ontbijten doen ze niet. Nee. Hier hebben ze alleen koffie. Ze maken thuis geen koffie. N of ze nemen één koffie, maar wat ik van hen, van hen begrijp... Ze komen hier alleen voor koffie. Dat ze hier komen voor koffie. Even wakker worden en blijkbaar uh, vinden ze elkaar dan hier in de bar om met elkaar te discussiëren. En dan gaan ze daarna werken. Wait a minute. This is no coffee. Wat hij ook uitlegt is dat vanaf 11 uur... Dat er dan ook af en toe rosé wordt genomen. And that brings us to our last visit. Since we live in a wine region, we should definitely not forget to visit a wine cellar. I've seen a lot of wine cellars, but I love this one so much. It's so pretty and the people here are very nice. Another thing I really like, their Formule Découverte. You can taste wines and have a little snack with it. Et ça c'est quoi C'est fait par euh, gras, c'est ça Oui, c'est du gras de porc qui est fourni par euh, le de Beaujeu, euh, d'accord. C'est vraiment du produit local. local. C'est bien local. So all the wines here are uh, from farmers in the region to promote their wines. Cheers. Et on voit quoi là encore Le paradis. 
paradise. Okay, we're done. Thanks to you guys, I found out more about the French morning routine, at least in our beautiful Beaujolais region. I hope you liked it. I wish you a very good day, a great life, and I'll see you in the next video. Hasta la vista, baby. Um, in Frankrijk hebben ze hier. Oh, ik ben in het Nederlands aan het doen. Voilà. Nee, niet voor de hand in je dit stuk. Alleen die kant. Verder niks meer. Je houdt hem zo recht mogelijk en dan met. Uh, dus je nou aan het filmen? Ja.